Hi, it's Darnell with Wave of Recipes, and today I'm going to be grilling tilapia in the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Fry Oven so we can see how it grills up some fish. And let's get cooking right now. All right, so let me show you what I'm working with here. I'm going to keep the ingredients pretty simple. I have three large tilapia fillets. This is uh, probably about almost two pounds, about a pound and three quarters of tilapia here. And I've got myself for seasoning, I'm going to be trying this uh, Kinder's premium quality lemon pepper seasoning for this one. Make like some lemon pepper fish out of this. And nothing in this video is sponsored. Just something that I saw and wanted to try out. And for anyone who was interested in where I got it, I got it at my local Costco. And so I'm just going to basically season up this fish with the uh, seasoning here. So just going to season one side and after seasoning one side and you know I could use other seasonings and things but I like the mix in this one it's uh, main ingredient is sugar then salt and it's got some other spices and such mixed in but I also noticed it's got like some black pepper and other good stuff in there it's a nice mix of different seasonings in this lemon pepper seasoning so I, I am hoping Lord willing from what it looks like in the mix that it will stand well alone without any additional ingredients since I'm doing the lemon pepper thing and so uh, you know I don't want to disturb the lemon pepper flavor much if the seasoning can stand well on its own but this is my first time using it and so and we get to the taste test You'll get to hear from me about what I think about this seasoning. So, just getting it uh, nicely doled out and nicely sprinkled over. And so, got those set up there. I've got them in the grill plate and the bake pan there for the Ninja Foodie. And just going to go ahead and nicely sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle till I've got it all over all this fish here. We're almost done in a moment. All right, and with that, and I'm always like, you know, just put a little more right there. <laughs> All right, now we're good. And so with that done, you're gonna open up. You got the rack on the third rack level up, and so going to close up. And I'm going to get my uh, meat probes real quick. I did mean to to throw a meat probe in one of these, even though it's some thin fish. I'm going to throw a meat probe in one just to track temp. Now I've got my eye grill 2 meat probe. I'm only going to stick a probe in the one that's in the middle because anyone who's been watching this channel for a while doing cooks with this cooker, basically the piece of meat in the middle is going to be the one that takes the longest to cook. And I'm one who likes to cook everything till it's all well done and so put it in that one and let that one get to a well done cook and not going to worry about the others much even though they might get a little a little more done but that's okay with me so we've got that in there like that close it up so now we're going to turn the cooker on and for this cook, I'm going to try and use the air fry function to grill up my fish. And we'll give it, um, I mean, it's not going to need 20 minutes, but we'll leave it at 20 minutes. And for cooking temperature, going to bring that down, we'll bring it down to a 375. And we'll do 375, see how long it takes to cook this fish up. Lord willing, it finishes in less than 20, but if it needs more, then I'll have to add more. But... I'll just keep track of the temp until that piece in the middle gets to like 145 and then pop them on out. I know I could pull them out a little earlier, maybe rely on some carryover. I'm very aware of that, but I like to cook all the way. That's my style. But you can stop earlier if you wish, but you want to make sure that, of course, your food before you consume it is fully cooked. So I cook all the way to 145. And so hitting start with that, and I'll bring you on back a little bit later. Alright, the fish has been cooking for 
almost, well, 18 minutes. So I'm just going to stop it at an even 18 minutes. And so we can say it took 18 minutes at 375. We can see we reached our target temp and, you know, it's even rising up a little more. But we're going to stop that. And here's our finished fish. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this piece here off the side, off the side here. Kind of just tiny bit stuck there, but not much. So you can see the finished fish, but it looks like it turned out pretty well. I've got a butter knife here because this should be so easy to cut that you can move with a butter knife and it is moving well and easy. You can see inside there it's real nice and moist looking. Nothing looking dry, nothing looking overcooked. But we'll take that piece there and we'll do a taste test. So here's our finished fish. And so I'm going to get this piece here and do a taste. Just got to try one more for the taste test, you know. Alright, so basically the fish is very moist, very perfectly cooked, super moist, super nicely cooked. The lemon pepper seasoning is good. It tastes good. I've tried another lemon pepper seasoning that I didn't do in a video here, but uh, I'll just say it's the one that I got. Um, well, I guess I can't say that because they sell multiple lemon pepper seasoning. But, but it was another lemon pepper seasoning, and it wasn't as good as this one. The other one I got, the main ingredient was salt, and so trying to get things seasoned nicely and get a nice lemon pepper flavoring didn't turn out as nice because in order to get more flavor you ended up tasting a lot more salt because the main ingredient was salt. This one I like because the main ingredient is sugar so when you use a good bit of it you don't get a you know, overwhelming salt bite you know and so it tastes good and so I like that it turned out good and so you know that's just a little tip for you if you're buying like a lemon pepper seasoning Maybe you want to try and find one where the main ingredient or the primary ingredient on the list of ingredients, the first one it is not salt. And you may turn out with something that you might like more, but that's me, really me, but you know, it's up to you. All the same, you can find in the video description a lot of ways to help this channel, including my new cookbook. You can also find different ways to donate. There is an additional way added to donate if you want to donate. And also other things. Also find a referral link to this cooker, pay the same price, help this channel, so a lot of ways to help if you desire. And you can find more recipes on my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com, there will be a link in the video description for this particular recipe. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe, hit that notification icon, and good eating.